Hey, Monster Truck fans, welcome to Trigger King RCTV. This is freestyle from event number one. We get right into the action and kicking it off is Chris Lane in Stomper. A modern rendition of a classic identity. He's got 60 seconds and can roll over one time. He's already got that one rollover in, so the next rollover will end it or he'll complete the time. We've seen him win in the stomper truck in freestyle before. He took a little bit of time off. He's back on the circuit. Let's see what he can do kicking us off. Tough hit on the somersault, breaking his LMT monster truck and putting an end to the run. With a little bit of time left on the clock, the score a five, a five, and a four for a total of 14. Next, it's the brand new Kaiju from Chris Parrish. We've seen the identity before, but a brand new body on the truck, setting the tone for 2024. We'll see what he's got in store. See some new lights shining out from underneath the truck. Kaiju, the Mean Duck RC rendition of a J Concepts Badger body put to unique use. Looking at the first few trucks out on the track, it looks like the loose and slippery surface in this new facility is going to be tricky. We'll see what driver can get the power down and really utilize this new surface. Fifty-eight seconds out of sixty used. Two seconds left on the clock. The score is going to be a nineteen with a six, a six, and a seven from our three-judge panel. Out now, it's Dragonoid, Chris Hackinson, a brand new design for him for freestyle this year. The Dragonoid body, a Mean Duck RC produced product, a one-off. Hackinson really liked it. He picked it up and is going to put it through its paces this year. Wow, what a tornado twist right there for the Dragon, looking like it was ready to take off. Oh, full throttle hope and prayers right there. But he got it back on the wheels. Patiently lining up for the backflip. That may be the key in this environment where it's so tricky getting adhesion to the ground. Almost out of bounds. The clock is ticking down. And that'll be it for Dragonoid. <laughs> you see in the replay, he actually pulled a wheelie coming to that backflip ramp. And the score is a 20. Hackinson takes the lead in Dragonoid with a 7, 7, and a 6. We've still got a lot of trucks left to go. So we'll see if that holds. On the track now, it's gunslinger Michael Spurlock. Drifting around the track out there. 
Oh, that hurts. That hurts the momentum and the perception of the run. We'll see if that affects the judges. You never want to have to back up. Oh, and he stuffs the backflip. Track recovery team on the track, riding Gunslinger back over. He's got one rollover under his belt. Oh, risky on the backflip ramp. Five seconds left. Time ticks to an end, and that'll be all for Gunslinger. The scores come in with three, three, and six. The score will be a 12. Hellion, Iron, Aaron Janes on the track. Janes, a big time freestyler. He will straight send it. You see a little, uh, little action there on the wheel shimmy as he walks it along the track. These trucks land so well that Aaron makes, but also he just hammers it for the freestyle. Always a contender. Oh, but brutal at the same time as he wheelies front flipping over the obstacle, but ending in a rollover. So that's one for him. Struggles with momentum, upside down for the second time early. Not going to be a winning run in this situation. The scores come in with a four, five, and three, giving him a 12. Our next competitor is JGW, driven by Andy Salerno. We've seen Salerno take some big victories before and always near the top of the heap when it comes to the results in freestyle. That truck seems to just work really well for him in freestyle, always looking a little bit out of shape. Can he start the season off right here in the first event? Teetering on the brink, it was close, but it tottered back down in his favor onto the wheels. Slowing down just a little bit here, looking for that big wow factor to end the freestyle. Oh, and that's not the wow factor we were looking for as he lands hard on the front corner and breaks the four link off the tab on the front end of the LMT. That'll do it. Not quite the score he was looking for, but that'll get him some points for the season tally. A 16, five, five, and six from the three judges. On the track now, living after midnight, Troy Haas off to an awkward start there, but salvaged the situation. A new identity for this year, Troy has this truck set up well for freestyle. It's bouncy, it always looks a little out of shape, and some of that may fit Troy's driving style as well. He was a podium finisher in 2023, I believe strong all season long. This truck formerly wild hair, I believe, bringing out the new body, new identity as a season full of freestyle wears out these bodies quickly. Oh, risky maneuver, but up and over on his lid. That ends the run. We take a look at at some of the replays and some of the highlights. It'll be a good score. It'll put him in third right now with a 17, six, six, and a five.
Our reigning freestyle champion and freestyle juggernaut, Isaac Ankrum, bringing out the brand new Rockstar body. He's been running the Rockstar for a number of years, but finally gave in and replaced the body in this situation. A little bit awkward, hurting his momentum, backing up there, but he tried to make something of it to make it look like it's part of the move, um, but does hurt his momentum. Ankrum with a spectacular ability to get the truck into a predicament and recover, most importantly, usually scoring high in freestyle because of that. Looking good out there, but up and over, breaking early, leaving a little bit of time left on the clock. Oh, he's still going. Oh, and in Ankrum style, just brutalizing the truck running until it is a pile of scrap. The score will be good enough to put him in a tie for second with a 19, a six, a seven, and a six. That's it for Freestyle as we take a look at the results Living After Midnight, Troy Haas with third place. In a tie for second place, Kaiju and Rockstar with 19. And finally, setting the tone for 2024, our winner of the first freestyle competition, Dragonoid, the brand new truck from Chris Hackinson. Hackinson will sit atop the points ladder at this point for the season and for the event, but we've got a lot of action left to come. Congratulations to Hackinson for his freestyle win. A little bit of a points bonus, three points goes to the winner over their freestyle scores. The freestyle scores cumulative over the season in the points championship chase. As I said, more action to come. Make sure you join us next time. Next time out, we'll be at the non-points event, the Bigfoot Open House. Make sure to join us. We'll see you next time.